Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Saturday, August the 26th, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year, we are following John MacArthur's devotional book entitled Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. And our entry for today is entitled hoping in God. From scripture we read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7, love hopes all things. Our main thought today is love refuses to take human failure as final. Pastor MacArthur writes, even when faith falters, hope comes to the rescue. It is that long rope that keeps us linked to the sovereignty and power of God. The Apostle Peter wrote to believers who were experiencing severe trials. To encourage them, he began, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to his great mercy, has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That's from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Our hope is a living hope because our God is a living God. No matter how bleak your situation might seem, God is at work to accomplish his purposes. As Christ hung on the cross, it seems as if sin had finally triumphed over righteousness. But sin's finest hour became its death knell when Christ arose from the grave as the Lord of life and the Redeemer of his people. Now, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal body through his Spirit who indwells you. That's from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 11. Trials and death have no power over you. You sim They simply bring you closer to Christ. When ministering to others, hope gives you confidence that as long as there is life, human failure is never final. God refused to accept Israel's failures. Jesus refused to accept Peter's failures. And Paul refused to accept those failures of the Corinthians. When your attempts to cover the sins of others have failed, or your righteous expectations have been shattered, hope says, don't give up. God can still work this out for good. Hope is illustrated in the true story of a dog who was abandoned at the airport of a large city. He stayed there for over five years, waiting for his master to return. People at the airport fed and cared for him, but he refused to leave the spot where he last saw his master. If a dog's love for his master can produce that kind of hope, how much more should your love for God produce abiding hope? Dear friends, I thank you and commend you for having spent a few moments listening to today's devotional as written by John MacArthur. I've taken his suggestions for prayer and for further study that are attached to this devotional and I've placed them in the description portion of this video so that you will have access to them. And I pray that you will read and interact with them because that will be to your great benefit. And until we can be together again, I pray that will be tomorrow to hear the next devotional thought in Pastor MacArthur's book. I pray you will go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.